Okay. Mr. Holland? Here. Mrs. Mychak? Here. Mr. Thomas? Here. Mr. Mychak? Here. Mr. Peckham? Here. Mayor Shiglock? Here. Solicitor Brankoff? Yes. yes. Okay, at this time I'll open the first public portion pertaining to anything that's on the agenda. And then at the end we'll have another public portion. Yes. Uh, I, I noticed on here for Opus, you have, uh, you have two council resolutions. Who, 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 who's resigning? Mr. Schislock has to decline it due to his obligation with adult probation. Right. He's not allowed. Mr. Thomas is going to resign at the request of Mrs. Buell to fill the rest of her term. Okay, yeah. well, based on the minutes from, from that special meeting, you sat right there when I, when I asked to have a table until we took over. You sat right there and said the reason you want to fill that was so you could have a quorum. Quorum, and that's what okay, I'm Okay, so if he resigns his seat tonight and you put him in Buell's seat, what difference is it making on the board? Because, like I said, due to my work schedule. Okay, but he's still on the board money. now. Yes. So the only, the only thing you're doing is put him in, in a seat for two years. Because mm -hmm. as of January, he's out. To have a, a quorum. Right. To right. a quorum. Well, January, when we get sworn yeah. in, we'll still have a quorum. I can't do anything then until next year if he resigns. But if you put him in now, you still have to do it. You still have the same board members. I still have to have a quorum. Right, but if he still stays in the seat that he's at now, you still have the same amount of board members. It's a quorum. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So you got five. So if you're able to put someone in Buell's place, you still have one, two, three, four, five. I right. can't guarantee everyone's going to show up at the meeting. Like I said, I'm going Okay, so, so you put him in the seat. You guarantee he can put him, put it, come in? What? It, it's the same amount. Well, it looks like it's your own, your own, own agenda yeah. you're doing. It's, it, it's on the agenda, and that's how it's going to be handled. Right, so you're going to do your own agenda, and anybody that votes for sure that, that you're worried about your own agenda, not worried about the town. Cordy, like I told you, the door is always open. I, I I'm, going, you. I'm going by your words last I'm, I'm week. Saying, right? yes. I'm, so I'm you, not sure if I'll be able to do not work, then we're not going to turn it in. I, I told you it will work. Well, apparently you're not. But, all right. Anyone else in the public portion? Okay, all council members having received copies of the regular and special council meeting, if there's no errors or corrections, those time to be read. Move on to the officer's report. The other thing I have, Mr. Chairman, is that um, we did test this past week for full-time officers. Um, I did not get the results of the uh, of the test yet. Um, they're working on it. I was told it'll be done sometime this week. So just letting council know that the testing has been done, and hopefully once uh, you know we get everything together, it would be sooner than later that we can hire another full-time police officer in Shenandoah. And there is also a resolution at a recommendation from the Civil Service Commission. Okay. Um, I just want the public to be aware to know that I know there were some concerns um, over the last couple days that Shenandoah did not have police coverage over the weekend. We did not have police coverage in town, but we had the state police cover. Um, there is some concerns um, from uh, different people who ask me how long is this going to, you know, go on with having state police covered because, um, you know, th they're concerned, especially uh, the EMS. I got, I got a, uh, uh, I got a letter from uh, Mr. Eximitis, um just asking when we feel that we might be hiring more police so that we have, you know, 24-hour coverage. But I don't want the people alarmed. We are, we do have state police covering, so. Um, well, like I said, hopefully once these tests are uh, are greater, we can you know get more police officers sooner than later, if it's feasible. And the VA is safe. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I have. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want a community report. Nothing there. Okay, we'll go on to old business. Do make concern. I, John Schlesak the third, have respectfully declined my appointment to the borough council due to my obligation to employment with adult probation for Schuylkill County. Thank you for your cooperation and understanding this matter. Submitted John Shizlock the third. Can I have a motion to accept that? I'll make a motion. Motion by the Grand by the second. Second. Second by Paul. Any question? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nice have it. Move on. Effective December 18th, I John M. Thomas resigned my position of Shadow Borough Council. Signed by John. Can I have a motion? I'll make that motion. Motion by Roseanne, by the second. I'll second it. Second by Bob, on the question. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I have it. This time I'd like to ask 
for a motion to a pass resolution number 12-18-1. Whereas Councilwoman Marlene Avila has extended her resignation to City Councilwoman for the Borough of Chennault effective immediately and upon acceptance by Chennault Borough Council. Whereas Chennault Borough Council has officially convened duly advertised accepted resignation of Mrs. Gould. Therefore, appoint Mr. Shah, John Shizlock to fill and recognize acceptance vacancy by virtue of dual resignation. Whereas appointee John Shizlock has likewise confirmed an inability to serve and likewise is, has tendered his resignation. Whereas Borough Council has accepted the resignation of John Shizlock Jr. as tendered and wishes to fill the vacancy immediately. Now, therefore, be it resigned by Council Borough, Shenandoah County of Schoolville that John Thomas is hereby appointed to the vacancy which currently exists in Borough Council seat resigned by Councilwoman Marlena Jewell initially and by Councilman John Shizlock Jr. Do I have a motion to that effect? I'll make that motion. Do you have a motion by Roseanne. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Bob on the question. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have. We'll move on to PA Department of Conservation and Natural Resources Grant Award. Just to highlight, on behalf of Governor Tom Wolf, I'm writing to congratulate you on your grant award for the amount of 80000 from the Community Conservation Partnership Program administered by the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, PCNR. Funding for these types of projects comes from the Keystone Recreation Park and Conservation Fund, P93, the Environmental Stewardship Fund, Growing Greener, and other sources of state and federal funds. My department is committed to building community conservation partnerships with local governments and nonprofit organizations to protect critical natural areas and open space, develop greenways and trails, provide quality park, recreation, and conservation opportunities, and to improve the quality of life in Pennsylvania communities. Your DCNR grant award is in recognition of outstanding recreation and conservation work that should be shared with your community. DCNR staff will be in contact with your project coordinator to finalize the grant agreement to provide additional information on our grant procedures. I wish you much success in implementing this project. We will contribute to the quality of life for many Commonwealth citizens. If you have any questions, please contact DCNR, the Bureau of Recreation and Conservation. Sincerely, Cindy Adam, Dunn, Secretary. So that's for the public's information. We've been awarded for the Guard Park $80,000. Going to the solicitors? Huh. Yeah, the, uh, the only thing I have on the uh, list was a uh, draft of the tax uh, anticipation of resolution. Uh, I believe we're uh, looking at another uh, from there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're going to move this resolution 1218.17. One, tax anticipation of. Whereas the Borough of Shenandoah, Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania, here and after called the local government unit, anticipates current revenues as yet un uncollected, and whereas the said local government unit has inadequate funds for current expenditures, and whereas the said local government unit has determined that it is necessary to borrow for the purpose of meeting current expenses by issuing a note to be repaid from said anticipated revenues, and whereas the First National Bank, Shenandoah Branch, has submitted to the said local government unit a proposal to purchase a tax anticipation note of the local government unit and the local government unit <coughs> desires by the adoption of this resolution to accept such proposal and authorize the issuance and sale of its tax and revenue anticipation note. Now therefore be it resolved, the local government unit hereby authorizes the issuance of a tax and revenue anticipation note in the amount of $60,000 current taxes and revenues to be sold at a private sale. The note shall be in the denomination of $60,000 in anticipation of the receipt of taxes and shall be redeemable at any time at the option of the officers of the local government unit without penalty or premium, shall be fully registered without coupon, shall be dated January, well, I don't know, he doesn't have that part in, <clears throat> I imagine January uh, 1st, 2018 and shall mature on December 31st, 2018, and shall be payable at the office of the lender with the note being substantially in the form annexed to the resolution as Exhibit A, and made part hereof as though fully set forth that went. The proposal of the First National Bank to purchase the note is hereby accepted and shall be incorporated into the minutes of this meeting. The local government <coughs> hereby pledges to the lender and grants to the lender a first lien and charge on its taxes and revenues to be received during the period 
when the note is outstanding to secure the payment of the indebtedness, indebtedness evidenced hereby and the interest thereon. Payment and principal interest shall be made in the following amounts on the following dates. The appropriate executive officers be and hereby are authorized and directed to execute and deliver in the name of and behalf of under the seal of the local government unit the tax and revenue anticipation or in the form and containing terms described above and the borough secretary of this local government unit shall hereby be authorized and directed to attest the same. The appropriate executive or fiscal officer shall be and is hereby authorized to and directed to prepare or cause to be prepared and to file a certificate as to taxes and revenues be collected as required by section 8128 of the local government unit debt act. A true and correct copy of certificate is attached. The executive officers of the local government unit be and hereby are authorized and directed to perform all acts which are necessary and proper for the valid issuance and securing of the note in accordance with local government unit debt act and all provisions thereof. In witness whereof, the other sign has hereunto set their hand and affixed the seal of local government this uh, 18th day of December 2018. Motion to adopt resolution 1218-17-1, tax anticipation rule. Have no motion. Motion by John Thomas. Uh, second. Second. Thank you. that Paul. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. I have a letter here from uh, Civil Service Commission to Mr. Pekevich at the December 14, 2017 meeting of the Borough Channel Civil Service Commission. A recommendation is being made to Borough Council to amend the requirements for police eligibility tests. The Civil Service Commission recommends to Borough Council that the examination will be graded on a 100% scale with the written portion representing 60% of the final score and the verbal examination representing 40%. Should you have any questions, please contact me. Sincerely, Frank Green, Chairman, Civil Service Commission. All right, so they're recommending changing our current standard of 70 to 30 to 60 40 to, uh, from what I understand, to they feel the, the verbal part gives them a better feeling on who's a better qualified officer than basing it off of 70% written. So we'll move into resolution 1218-17-2, civil service regulation. Resolution 1218-17-2, resolution amending the rules and regulations for civil service commission of the borough channel. Whereas the rules and regulations of the borough channel were adopted by the civil service commission and approved by borough council on April 15, 1993, and whereas the civil service commission is recommending an amendment to the rules and regulations that the examination for police be graded on a 100% scale with written portion representing 60% of the final score and verbal examination representing 40%. Whereas the Civil Service Commission believes this amendment will be more competitive for applicants, now therefore be it resolved that this resolution is approved by the Borough Council of the Borough of Shenandoah, Spookville County, Pennsylvania, this 18th day, 2017. I have a motion to adopt the resolution. Make a motion. A motion by Paul. Do I have a second? A second. Any comments? On the question? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye is aye. We'll move on to DSI Kabasi Pierogi Shop. Dear or Pierogi Drop, not Shop. Yeah. Dear Council Members, Downtown Shenandoah is finding the Kabasi Pierogi Drop again this year on December 31st, 2017 at 7 p.m. We ask that no parking signs be placed on the west side of the 100 block of Main Street in the Veterans Memorial Garden. We ask your permission and support for this event. Last year was an amazing success. Thank you for your consideration, and we hope you find in our favor. Sincerely, Mary Lester, staff and CSI manager. We have a motion to approve their request for Kibasi Pierogi Drop. Okay, motion. motion by Roland, do I have a second? Second. Okay. Second by Bob. Any question? All those in favor say aye. Opposed? Nice have it. This time I'll ask for a motion to pay all bills as money becomes available. Okay. Motion by Roseanne. Second. Second by Paul. On the question. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nice have it. Okay, at this time I'll open the second public portion. I'll ask that if you're able to stand, take your name, questions, concerns. Yes. Bob Chomsky, Turkey Run. Did you ever find out about the entrance to Turkey Run with Monty Township? I have left phone calls and I have not gotten a return. They did leave a note here for me to call them back. I will be in touch with them. I'm back on third shift, so I'll be available during the day to get over there. So, okay. Okay. 
Bracket, 531 East Lloyd Street. I just have a couple. Of code enforcer. He doesn't come to meetings no more. I, I haven't been here myself, but he has been at them. I mean, he wasn't at this one, but he has been at them. Okay. Only for the simple reason, these repository sales that the bear is okay and stuff. Do they get any type of uh, paperwork on how long it's supposed to take for them to bring it up to code, or what's wrong with the houses? Now, years ago, I tried buying my neighbor's house. Our inspector at that time came from Reading. He's supposed to go in there before the house is sold. I understand the repository is different. Yeah, they're sold, and then mm -hmm. yep. before anybody could move in, first at the secure and occupancy department, then our third party inspector goes in and inspects the house, bringing it up to code. Because where RJ's is, people are living up there already. Smetanas, they moved in there already. Next to Lucky Soonis's, I don't know if they came from occupancy. I can't get over what they did for Lucky's yeah. and Smetanas? Yes. And for our, okay. Smetana, I'm almost positive, <clears throat> not just went through, I think they did, but I, that I'd have to check because I was... Because there's like four properties there. Yeah. Four properties. Um, um, like I said, I wasn't here last month, but when they said about Mrs. Buell resigning, when she resigned and she wanted to give it up, why didn't she say to give JT the job last month? Because we thought that... Who thought? I'm just curious. I thought, she thought that young John Shizlock would be able to serve. He was under the impression he was. And when we went back, his boss said, had to take it up the ladder and he was like, no, you can't because you're involved with the county with adult probation. But wouldn't it be for the betterment of the town, like the next person who was on the ballot? You know, like Billy comes to job here all the time. You know, why why do we always escape to where people don't come to meetings and stuff? And the betterment of the com uh, community is for people coming to meetings. And John's been at all the meetings. So, well, because he's on council before then, he didn't come. Plus, I'm just has, saying. Plus, he has the experience. And my feeling on it. And I'm not going to be the dead horses because there's stuff that has to be passed by the end of the year and if there wasn't a quorum, I can't guarantee, but in my feeling, the best position was to have an experienced person put on there for to make sure there's a quorum and knows what the, what's going on currently. Are you passing anything tonight though as far as you sound for enough of a quorum tonight? Because no. you, you could say, I mean I'm not trying to, you could say a dead horse. I'm here for the community, betterment of the community. But don't you think it's ironic, and I hate this Democrat against Republican, I mean, we had that in Washington. My thing is, people try their best at this in this community. People don't come to meetings anymore because they're pissed off at you guys. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be smart because just like little things like this. Last month, it was that, or I mean, not even last month, it was the special meeting. Now, did she write a piece of paper that said she wanted him to do it? Do you have it here, Mary Lou? I have her letter of resignation, and she was on the final. She spoke to Leo. No, did she write in paper? I don't think we're on trial here. I no, I'm not either. either. I'm not I'm either. not on trial. I don't even have to answer. Yeah. I'm just well, saying. you do. You always do. Is. Don't get me wrong. I but try to help it, whenever it, I can. The motion's passed. Yeah. The motion's passed. And like I said, we, I we spoke after the last meeting, and I spoke to 40 and JT, and then I said, it's, it's an open door. We can get together, sit down. There's, I want, feel we're going to work along just great. I know, but you always say there's no one that ever wants to put their name in for something. That's not true, Leo. What? For well, years just, and years and years, people put I've their name I've said in. about authorities. I didn't right. say about council. Okay, now here's the other thing. One more thing here. Um, so, did we do everything legal? Yes. yes. For a simple reason. Well, I'm not saying, we're not saying was it legal, but it, last week he said he wanted to put someone in there so we could have a quorum. I feel I that, that's what you said. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. No, I wasn't sure. I wasn't okay. sure. If okay. Everybody was going to show up. Well, okay. I agree. You want to put someone in there? I agree with you last week. You want to put someone that, that that? So who did you put in there? Different. That's not already on the board until the end of the year. Okay. No, but I put Jake right because he was already he was already on there and he knows what's been going yeah, on with the borough. He knows everything that's going right, on. Your next question. Right, Only for a simple reason. I mean, it's my last question on that thing. When Donna Trevillet's husband was leaving the water company, he said to put his wife on and sure. fill her. Sure. He, did, it, he did not submit it, Eileen. And I said, that's fine. He didn't mm -hmm. submit a letter. He submitted a letter of resignation for the sewer authority. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the water authority. That's Already the authority he was on. Right. And he never submitted a letter, and she never put a formal request in asking to be on the sewer authority. Why don't you put this? 
Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be later at the next meeting. Yeah. All right, okay. thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mary Catherine Barris, Court 313 Westchester Street. On this resolution, Leo, for the um, for the uh, borrowing the money, yeah. how much interest are we going to pay on that on that on that note? Mm -hmm. The bank is supposed to send that information today. It's, it's like it's a very low interest rate. It's low. And when we get our tax revenue, we're not pays it off. Okay. And but that's but that's that's on how much you borrow, right? I mean, you're not yeah. going to if you don't have to borrow the whole sixty thousand. You borrow. Are we going to borrow it? You, you borrow what we need, and we borrow that right. based on waiting on for first quarter taxes. We use the first quarter taxes. Can be paid. Right. Okay, but what I'm saying is, if we only borrow thirty thousand out of that sixty thousand, are we only going to be charged for the thirty thousand that we borrow, yeah, or are we yes. going to borrow be be charged for the whole note? No, only for what we borrow. For what we borrow. Okay. And is that going to be like, um, say, uh, quarterly? Are we going to borrow that money quarterly? Or are you going to take that? It's a one time. It's a one, one time, time deal. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Not this meeting.